Hello friends, welcome to the Industrial Automation channel. In this video, we will see how to communicate Delta PLC and HMI. How, uh, how we can establish the communication between this PLC and HMI through RS232 protocol or RS485 protocol. Okay. So basically, uh, we can connect to the Delta PLC to HMI uh, with RS232 protocol or RS485 protocol. So first, in RS232, in RS232 communication, uh, in PLC, we have this RS232 port, this around uh, 8 pin mini DIN connector. Okay. And so on HMI side, we have this DB9 connector. So this port has uh, RS232 port as well as this is uh, 485 port. Okay. So this COM port uh, inbuilt for both communication. So for PLC side, this one is for RS232. So for this uh, to make communication between PLC and HMI through RS232, we need one cable which is uh, for one side we will have 9 pin DB mail connector and for uh, PLC side we will have 8 pin mini DIN connector. Okay. So this is uh, 8 pin mini DIN connector and this is DB9 connector which is mail type. Okay. So this uh, DB9 side we need to connect two number pin to this five number pin of 8 pin DIN connector okay and this three number pin to this four number pin and this is ground five number to eight number so this will be the cable com pin configuration for communication of rs232 okay. and uh, for uh, rs485 communication you can see here on bottom side of plc this port is for rs485 port okay this was our RS232 port, but this is our RS485 port. And for uh, HMI side, the same port will we are going to use for RS485 port. But in RS485, we will use the pin number 1 and 6. Okay. And here, you can see plus and minus symbol. So, you have to connect one number pin of this DB9 connector to D plus, means plus symbol. And this is 6 number cable to minus symbol. Okay. So this one one end of cable is of DB9 mail connector, and second uh, second end is open. Okay, so you have, you need to directly connect these two cable to this terminal. So here one and six is useful pin number DB9, and in 232 communication, two three five pin numbers are useful. Okay, so let's see uh, actual. We will communicate through RS485. Let's write program for HMI. So open DOP soft. Okay, uh, I have a version of 4.06. You can also open 4.010. And this 2.07 version is for old HMI model. Okay, so I'm having 100 series. So I'm opening this DOP soft 406. Okay, just click on file, create new project. I have 103 VQ, so selected model number here. Click on next. So here you can select your communication protocol. Okay, so this is uh, showing a link name. So link one. Uh, we are going to connect with uh, Delta PLC, so manufacturer Delta. And series of PLC we are having DVP 14 SS2. So I have selected here Delta DVP PLC. Okay, so this is quite uh, famous PLC, and by default it will show Delta DVP PLC. So now here in interface you can select either RS232 or RS485. So if you are going to connect with RS232, you just need to select this RS232. Means if you have, you are going to use this communication, this cable, then you just need to select here RS232. Uh, but in our case, we are going to use this RS485 communication. I have this cable connected to PLC and HMI. So I am going to select the RS485 protocol here. So selecting here RS485. So other parameters, data bit should be 7 bit, stop bit should be 1, baud rate 9600, parity even. So all these protocols, uh, these parameters are already set in PLC. It's by default. So no need to set anything in PLC side. Okay, you just need to say uh, uh, make this default parameters okay so this is our uh, plc station number so by default it is one 
if you are using any different station number for PLC then you need to mention here if your PLC has a password any communication password you just need to mention here password okay and uh, rest parameters are the same so just now just click on finish okay this is the first uh, screen we are going to take another lecture for on this DOP soft in detail how to develop the HMI in in this lecture I will just show uh, how we are going to connect to PLC okay so click on element button let's take one maintain button here okay uh, let's give the address so this is in link we have link one means PLC delta PLC one right so I am selecting link one here I am going to take M address M0 so just I will copy this and paste here so this is for indicator purpose this is for write purpose okay and for one uh, state one we will have a different color so let's take green okay in text for one we will take as a on and for zero we will take as a off okay so it means if I click this button this M, uh, M0 bit will be on okay it will be inverted so click ok now let's take one uh, indicator here first let's save this backup okay one more let's take an indicator here multi-state indicator okay so we will give the address of uh, any output that is y0 okay so for 0 it will show let's take red here so for if the output is off it will show in red color if output is on it will show in green color yeah so just click ok so we are taking this button uh, to see uh, is our HMI and PLC is communicate to each other okay yeah now let's download this to HMI so I have connected one USB cable to HMI for download purpose okay now HMI screen is downloaded let's create one one plc logic simple that is uh, on m0 we will turn on this output <coughs> just give the name text one we have ss2 plc okay okay so if m0 is on this output will be on and on hmi we will have the indicator of this output so let's download this in uh, plc also right to plc okay go to uh, monitoring mode so this is now in stop mode let's run the plc from here okay so i will turn on the camera for uh, hmi okay now here you can see in HMI one indicator we have taken and one button here so uh, if I click this button so it is on so now in program you can see here M0 is on and output is on and on HMI you can see here the 
indicator is also on okay it means um, we are communic we have established communication between ELC and HMI so there is no any communication failure so this is uh, actually HMI and we have connected with this PLC right so this is uh, 485 port okay we have connected to this HMI cable okay this is DB9 connector so now if I uh, remove this 485 port from PLC so now it will show communication here okay so you can see here the communication error it means no communication failure there okay so if i again connect this rs485 connector to plc the error will clear okay now you can see again communication is established so if i click off so here m0 is off and y0 is also off if I click again here on here M0 is on Y0 is on so in this way we can communicate this PLC and HMI to each other okay so this this port is used for to download the program in PLC okay thank you friends thank you for watching this video so subscribe to this channel uh, for next learning so in next lecture we will see uh, all detailed development in hmi okay thank you